Sometimes they glorify Brahma. Only 
how nitya bhava sa prakatyam vridhi sadhyata the ecstatic emotions of the eternal associates of Sri Krishna can manifest in our consciousness. Down, down, too much. Mainly, when you hear about the glories of different activities and different holy places, for example, or one who will go to Kumbha Mela <laughs> and take bath in the confluence of Ganga and Jamuna. At the time of the morning, Amavasya. Then the Amrita of heaven will come down. He will become immortal and be liberated. So, actually, people who drink the Amrita of heaven become lusty. And they become. They're without death, only for the uh, period of duration, the duration period of one manavatara. Which is uh, about uh, 14, 14 uh, days of Lord Brahma. A long time, but it's not immortal. All these things in Shastra about going to places and doing this and that. This is the Lok Sangaraha to collect the attention among general people. And bring them to the holy place. Because when they come, then they can get Sadhu Sangha. So when you read all of these things, actually the 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 uh, dwani, the implication is actually Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastrikoi. The scriptures are speaking about Sadhu Sangha actually. And in Sadhu Sangha, then the Amrita is the Harikata. So don't look for cheap fixes, how to get this and that. Only try to do sadhan to get Nitya Siddha Bhav. But this is about at the bath, I want to please Krishna. Not to think how to get out of jail for free. Another question. Yes, Sachi. Sadhu means one who has a relation with the Sat, the eternal absolute truth. <laughs> 
Sadhu means 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 sadhu и тот, кто наставляет других, корректирует их, их поведение, как-то подправляет для того, чтобы они тоже могли совершать чистую саду. Саду воуритахам майам, саду нам ритахам тахам. Срила Сри Кришна himself has said, and the саду is my heart. И сам Кришна также сказал, что саду это мое сердце. So these are different definitions of what it means to be a sadhu. Now, some persons often wonder about, well, what about audio recordings, video recordings, books and all of these things. So, what we receive from a sadhu is Bhakti Shakti. That is the essence of Samvit and Hadini. So, the, this Bhakti Shakti is carried in the vehicle of the heart of the sun. It can be transferred from one heart to another heart. It cannot be transferred to some computer memory. Audio tape. Audio tape. Bhakti Shakti is Aprakita Prana, supernatural Prana. Bhakti Shakti is Aprakita Prana, supernatural Prana. These machines have no Prana. A u těch mašin je Prana. They're not breathing. A ty ne dělají. Then how will they transfer Bhakti Shakti? I jak oni tam mohou přenést, předat vám Bhakti Shakti? So. When uh, when my Gurudev was in this world, all the recorders were this black like this. And he used to say, oh, these black boxes will cheat you. Never trust anyone who is black. <laughs> Kimala Masita Sakya Dostuja Tarkatar Raja Rani said, I don't want to have any relationship with this black person. So, now you know what a sadhu is, and sadhu sadhu means to be in the association of them. Especially to hear. Satam prasangan mamavirya samvidu. In the prasanga, in the excellent association of the sadhu. Prasanga is the prevascodne akshinya sadhu. Bhavantirit kana rasayana kata. Then you hear harikata, which is like a tonic for your ears and your heart. Mamba bir ya sambido. Here mean in here sambido indicates that in the sound of this harikata there is sambid chakti. So Krishna is not a tanmatra sense object. That can be revealed by your senses. See, Krishna is only revealed by his own uh, Swarupshakti internal potency. So he is called the Swayam Prakash, self-manifesting. Uh, 
я про каждого. Ну, то есть он является тебя сам, и он является тебя э, благодаря своей своему пошатку. So it's impossible to know anything about Krishna without the Swayam Prakashata, the self-manifest nature of his own spiritual energy. So Satam Prasangan Mahavirya Sambhidhu. This uh, self-manifest energy is transferred through the medium of Harikata in the association of sadhu, not in the association of a machine. But if you have heard first, then later when you hear the recording, the recording will stimulate uh, your awareness of the samskaras that were made by hearing. And especially if you have a very loving relationship of service with that sadhu and you hear the recording, it will stimulate your samskaras, the impressions that you have received previously by him. So the same is true of Shastra books. They have no independent power to bestow bhakti. So this is the book is symbolic recording of the kata and the audio or video is also a symbolic recording. The video is a symbolic uh, recording of the kata and the sound also is a, the imitation of the actual s s transcendental sound of the kata but not the transcendental sound itself. Just like a parrot may very perfectly imitate the voice of Srila Prabhupada. But then that, that parrot cannot give brain to anyone. Because it's imitation. So the machine is such a perfect imitation that you can't tell the difference, but it's still imitation. That's why you have to know that the word Bhagavad means is a slash. When you see the word Bhagavad, it is a slash. That means two words of have embraced each other and become one. So the word Bhagavad means the book Bhagavad and the person Bhagavad also. So the book Bhagavad without the person Bhagavad has does not have independent power to bestow praying. Because bhakti comes from the Swarup Shakti. Bhakti Shakti. So, books, tapes, recordings, everything, they're not useless. They are very useful for us. Because they stimulate the samskaras we have received in Sadhu Sangha. But independently of Sadhu Sangha, uh, they, uh, from this we can get information but not realization. And the two together, association and books and recordings, they complement each other. 
это все взаимодополняется и ваше общение с адресаткой, и также книги и лекции в записи. And then we can add one other nuance to this subject. И мы можем добавить еще один нюанс к этой теме. If someone already has this Bhakti Shakti in the heart, если у кого-то уже есть Бхакти Шакти в сердце, then they will experience the the books, the writings or the recordings directly as that sadhu. Тогда они будут ощущать и книги, и аудио-видеозаписи напрямую, как будто бы этот саду вживую с ними разговаривает. In other words, if you have no bhakti in your heart, you will not experience that Bhagavatam is the Sarupa of Krishna. But if you already have bhakti in your heart, then when you read Bhagavatam, then you will directly experience that you are with Krishna. Это означает, что если у вас еще нет бхакти в сердце, то когда вы читаете Шрива Бхагаватам, вы не осознаете, что это напрямую является Сарупой Кришны. Но если у вас есть бхакти в сердце, то как только вы откроете Шрива Бхагаватам, вы поймете, что это сам Кришна. So then those persons will say, oh, Srimad Bhagavatam is directly Krishna himself. И тогда эти люди будут говорить, что Шрива Бхагаватам это сам Кришна. Yes, to him. Да, для него. But not to you. Но не для нас. So then the Bhagavad, the two has to be taken as book and person together. И поэтому Бхагавад нужно воспринимать как два аспекта книга Бхагавад и личность Бхагавад. Now is the first, this is a, you know, the whole day. I will speak to two, three classes only on Ajahn. Uh, so you can hear those recordings from Spain. You heard them live, so when you hear the recording, it will bring the sound back. Uh, But the essence is that Nam has Vastu Shakti. So, so Nam will have an effect even on those who have no knowledge or understanding of anything. And will destroy not only Pap, but Pap beads, the seeds, the samskars, the impressions, the tendency to perform uh, activities which are averse to Krishna's service. Nama Bas will do it. And Nama Bas will awaken also gradually realization of Krishna's Aishwari and Madhurya. And gradually lead one and then should the Nama will come and behalf. So the essence of the Ajama Upakyan is that Vastu Shakti Nahi Budim Mabachate that the Vastu Shakti, the potency which is inherent in a thing, does not depend on your intelligence. And also there's a very peculiar um, situation with Ajamil and that is when he was a young man he was very well behaved and he was doing jagas. So there is no jagya that does not have the holy name in it somewhere. But he never got purified of his sins by that chanting. And when he became a scoundrel and sinful, then when he chanted the holy name to call his son, he was purified by that name. Why? You know what? <laughs> because he collabs with God, his name, Amartya Love for who? Narayan? 
Love for the sun is not love, it's, it's moha, illusion, remember? We discussed it yesterday. Because he made an offense on Karmaji, then he was in Dhamma. One of the ten offenses, Dhamma, Bharata, Tyag, Bhutani, Sarva, Shubhak, Kriyam, Samyam, Api, Pramada, is to consider the whole, chanting the holy name to be equal to the performance of Dharma, Bharat, Karma, Kanda, etc. So to say that speaking, thinking them equal, he was thinking that his karma kanda yagyas were superior even. So because he chanted the name in the course of doing karma kanda yagyas, he was, and he was subordinating Bhakti Devi to karma, so it was Nama Parada and it did not free him from sins. So he was dharmic, religious, but he was offensive. From the paramartic, transcendental perspective, absolute perspective. And when he became adharmic, completely irreligious, then he was not subordinating Nam to the karma. So his chanting was Nam Abhas. And it purified him of all power. So there are many dimensions in this. Какие имеются преимущества совместной джаба медитации? When you chant with a very advanced Vaishnava, then a strong Sanskar comes. But how to chant properly? Uh, you can do experiment to yourself. Go to another temple. And just watch. And see who actually sits down and chants for more than five minutes. And you'll be so surprised. There are so many temples full of devotees. And hardly anyone is chanting. Or if they are chanting, they are walking around here and there and doing other things also. It's very rare. Because they, those persons, they did not have the sanskar of what it means to do Nam Bhajan. So if someone has some strong sanskar and they uh, sit alone and chant, then very good. But though, most of those grew up before the stage of Nesh to say, I am chanting, doing bhajan alone, they are not there sleeping, uh, checking email. So, at least during our parikramas, I insist all devotees come together to develop good habits in relation to Harinam Japa. Что-то 
похожая на чистилище, промежуточное свадьбе души, которое писал там Калигири, которое пошло для христианства. Uh, so yesterday we heard from our side uh, the description of, of the hellish planets. Uh, the question is, uh, shall we uh, think of this, uh, consider this uh, description, like take it literally, or in a figurative way? And uh, the second question, uh, in the Vedic um, and philosophy, is there such a concept of uh, purgatory, something in between, you know, hell and heaven, like for example, Dante gave this part, which is important for Christianity. So, the, what is described in Bhagavatam is 100% true. Shukadeva so, Swami has no frivolous nature at all. He has no concern with any fiction. And, uh, Sometimes in Shastra there's an indirect description. Prokshavado Vedo Yam Balana Manusashanam, which is not exactly true in order to coerce or control the general people and make them do things which are good for them. But Srimad Bhagavatam begins Dharma Parcha Kaitava Attakti Bhi Sorry, Dharma Parcha Kaitava Uttra Paramahuni Matsaranam Satam That this Srimad Bhagavatam is for the Paramahamsas. It's actually for the Mukta Mahapurush, great liberated souls. So you don't have to tell them some fairy stories to get them to behave properly because they're already liberated. So the Srimad Bhagavatam is not like other Puranas which have something for Loka Sangra controlling the mentality of the masses. So some Puranas are for people in the mode of ignorance, six, and there are six for those in the mode of passion and six for those in the mode of goodness, 18 Puranas. But Srimad Bhagavatam is for the Nirgun Paramahamsas. So there's no tricky psychological things in Srimad Bhagavatam. So we should take it to be factual. We heard how those who eat Kentucky Fried Chicken, then they will, Yamaraj will take them to Kumbi Paka and they themselves will be fried also. So, it is uh, mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam in Krishna's Leela that once when he was, Krishna was uh, having the pastime of bringing the son of his guru back from Yamalok, Krishna went there to those hells and he blew his conch. And just by, just by the sound of Sri Krishna's conch, all the cooking in Kumbi Pakar stopped. And the persons who were being cut by the sharp plants, As Ashipatra, all those sharp plants became soft like flowers. Everyone in the hells was liberated from suffering and they attained four arm forms and went to Vaikuntha just by the sound of Krishna's God. So I know one devotee who was saying, oh, that Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur said the description of the hellish planets is only um, it's imaginary. Uh, 
который экономил, что Шила Пахтанта Хур сказал, что описание от всех планет – это воображение. Но в книге, в которой он написал Кришна Самита, было для людей, которые были подготовлены к модерной научной эдукации. And he was just removing their objections to encourage them to study Bhagavatam. It was not, it was meant for them, it was not actually his opinion. So we cannot take Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's statements in his introduction to Krishna Samhita at face value because in the same introduction he said, I request that the traditional Vaishnavas will give me. I have said things in a particular way for a certain audience. There's also a devotee oh, from Switzerland, we won't say, but also tells that the uh, hellish planets in Bhagavatam are not real. Because it comes at the end of the fifth canto. And so at some time in history, some Brahmanas just wrote an extra chapter about hells and just stuck it on. It's an interpolation. But the problem with this explanation is this. Then the sixth canto also becomes interpolation because the Yamadutas come to take Ajana. And the tenth canto becomes the interpolation because then someone has to make up the story about Krishna going to Yamlok and releasing all the persons from the various hellish sufferings. So we should take it literally. And that is also exactly, practically exactly the same. It is uh, written by the Christian saints. If you read the Dante's Inferno, it's Italian. You are Italian, you can read it. And he has described seven levels of hell, each one becoming worse and worse and worse. And uh, he has written it on the basis of the realizations of uh, Saint Bernard in the 11th century. And then, of course, then there's a purgatory in which persons get purified of lesser faults. But not in an extremely excruciating way like in the hell. So, in the, also above the earth, there are the seven planetary systems up to Brahmalok. And above, there is Bur, uh, there is Bhuva and Swa, two planetary systems. Then there are six planetary systems above that. All the rishis there, they're doing tapasya. They're not fully liberated yet. But they're doing austerities, tapasya and jagyas for the purgatory, to be purged of their last contamination so that they can transcend the world. So the Christian conceptions of different levels of hell and different levels of purgatory also are confirmed by the Srimad Bhagavatam. So some saints in the uh, meditation, they have seen these places. And that's why they take it very seriously. One more question. 
Там... Мой вопрос состоит из двух частей. <coughs> Касается темы Сакшат Даши. В Мадуре Кадамбине описывается тема аппарата, и Шан Чакарати Такур говорит, что если живо свободно все живо достигла уровня получения сакшат даршина, да, то не может быть и речь о том, что у нее есть какие-то анархи. То есть анархи больше нет. И мы тогда и приводится пример читать этому хорошо. И вопрос следующий, можем ли мы также говорить что подобного состояния достиг Друга Махарадж, когда получил Сакшат Даршан, когда Муни, когда получил Сакшат Даршан. И вторая часть вопроса, когда происходит прокат Ливы, и обычные джиры получают Сакшат Даршан Господа, происходит ли это с ними? Моя uh, In Madhuri Academy, Shri Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, when, when he's explaining, explaining uh, describing the practices, then he's saying that when a, a person receives uh, such a dashing of the Lord, then it means that there are no signs of uh, any anarchists. And there are, uh, there are examples of uh, Chitra Ketu Maharaj. And uh, can you say the same about uh, Dhruva Maharaj, Kardama Muni? And, and the second part, um, Вторая часть следующая, когда происходит прокат лилы Господа. Ah. И многие живы видят. Кришна можно увидеть глазами преданности. So When he appears in this world and performs his Prakat Lila, they're not really seeing him. Kamsa Maharaj does not see the sweetness of Sri Krishna. So Krishna said this, that Naham Prakasha Sava Shaha Yoga Maya Samabharata I am not um, manifest to everyone. И Кришна говорит об этом сам, я не являюсь ко всем. Я покрыт моей йога майей. Я покрыт моей йога майей. Так, для тех, кто не имеет девочки, кто не имеет девочки, не может видеть Кришну, за пределами его лила. Когда он делает свою лилу, все могут видеть его, но если у них есть девочки, They cannot actually see him as he is. So, Sri Krishna says, Avajananti Mamanutaha Manasam Daima Sutaha. When I appear in the human form, those who are Mutha, the ignorant, foolish persons, they criticize me. They don't even recognize that he's God. So, in the case of uh, Dhruva Maharaj, he said, when he saw the Lord, he said, Swami Kritatosmi Paramanajate, now I have seen you, I'm not, I don't want to ask for anything, I'm fully satisfied. И когда Дрова Махарадж увидел Кришну, то он сказал, «Теперь, когда я увидел тебя, мне больше ничего не нужно, я полностью счастлив». То есть он был полностью очищен. В случае с Читракету Махараджа, Someone can have a Satsak Darshan in the stage of Bhav. And Kardama Muni also. But there is still remain some obstacle. So Rupa Goswami Pada said, Utpanarateya samyam 
नरविज्ञानुपागता कृष्ण साक्षात कृतो योग्य साधकाम परिकृतिता कृष्ण साक्षात कृतो योग्य इस योग्य ही हैज एलिजिबिलिटी फॉर साक्षात परसेप्शन ऑफ सुप्रीम लोर बट नरविज्ञानुपागता ही हैज सम ऑब्स्टिकल्स टू बे So sometimes it happens. For example, Cardinal Muni, he was uh, in the heavenly planets. So there, when the Supreme Lord comes, it is not like the same as here on this earth. In the sense that the Supreme Lord manifests only in his um, scheduled incarnations on earth. But in the heavenly planets, he regularly comes. Like Baman Maharaj, Baman Dev, Shila Baman Dev, he will come every day to accept the puja of Indra. Because he is Indra's younger brother. And Indra will do puja, and he will come on Garuda, but he is not so interested, he doesn't even get off to Garuda. He is just waiting for the puja to be finished and he goes. So at that time, many devotees see him. So it's in that category of being like a Prakat Lila. So they are not free from anarchists, it's just that he comes a lot in the heavenly planets and does so many things. So they can still have an art as I'm being illusion. You know, five incarnations were involved in the churning of the ocean of milk, and all the demigods were there, and all the demons were there. Karma was underneath the mountain. And another form of Supreme Lord was on top of the mountain. Ajit was helping the devotees to holding Vasuki's uh, uh, tail and pulling. Ajit was uh, helping the devotees came to distribute the nectar and, and killed the uh, Ravana. Sorry, she came and Ajit killed Radu with his chakra. Mahini Murti helped Ravana to kill Ajit with his chakra. And in the in the end. It happened just a few days days ago. There was a festival, Danteras. That's the appearance day of Danvantari. Another incarnation of the Lord Danvantari came. So five incarnations were involved. But practically everyone was in mind. The demons were in um, tamas and rajas, and the demigods were mainly covered by sattva. So these are some of the considerations in terms of the effects of the Sakshat Darshan. Gurpramanande Hariyo